friends, a viewer said I should try the Maker World keychain tutorial, so let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to visit MakerWorld.com, and then I'm going to move out to the Maker Lab. As you can see, there are tons of fun things you can play with. We are going to jump right out to New Image by Keychain. Simply hit Start. We are going to create from blank. I am going to simply browse for a file, and I'm going to use my HL Mod Tech YouTube logo. As you can see, I can crop it one to one, four to three, or just free cropping. I can keep the background, or I can remove it. I think I want mine removed. We have the ability to zoom in and double check things, adjust our exposure to get exactly what we want. I think for this first tutorial, I am just going to stay with the default settings and confirm. It pops up this awesome guide saying that it can have up to 12 colors. If we have AMS, we should keep it to four or less colors. We need to match the removed colors to the remaining ones using the remove blocks. Select a single block and change its color and thickness if needed. You can also select multiple blocks by using control or the same color selection. And then we need to choose the plate type and add an attachment to make a keychain or a bookmark. That sounds pretty easy peasy. Let's hit start. So my design only had a couple colors. This of course could be filled with white. I believe my plan is going to be to have the plate be white so that we can print this black part on top with the blue underneath. There is a tiny spot here that I'm not sure that I want. I don't think there's any bonus to having that piece turn out black. And then under its settings, instead of two, which was the black, I'm going to choose to just delete it. When I click out here, bingo, that one is gone. The only other one that I did not like is down here. Notice I pushed in on the scroll wheel to pan. And I can zoom in, click on that tiny little nugget, and once again, delete it. Click outside and bang, that is my logo. So with that out of the way, unbelievably quick, let's go to plate and thickness. There are three styles we can pick. I'm going to go with the default. I'm going to change my thickness to two so it's a sturdier keychain. And then I want to make that a different color. I want to make it white. To do that, I'm going to have to back up and let's hit the plus sign. And there is my white color. Now when I go to plate and thickness, I can choose white, which is absolutely awesome. I'm going to leave the image as white. And let's quickly check the preview. So that actually would not work. You can see that this piece would be dangling. So let's instead switch to simple shape. Real quickly, we can grab these handles and adjust it, or we could use the numbers over here. If you want it to be more round, we can easily adjust these as well. Put a three in there and it rounds those corners really nicely. Of course, to make it a keychain, we can add a hook. We could also make it a bookmark, or we could add a hole. I prefer the hole. And I'm going to just pull it over here to this corner. Once again, we can drop that in place and stretch it out. And after just a few minutes, we've got a fun multicolor keychain we can print on our Bamboo Labs 3D printers. Note, our make is ready. Of course, following copyright, I want to let you know that I am using the Image 2 keychain. And it gives us three options for downloading. We've got a 3MF and STL, and we could also import it into Make My Sign. I'm going to download the 3MF, save it to my 3D modeling folder. I am going to change the name to HLMT, and click Save. Also note you can pick your nozzle. I am using the 0.4, which is perfect for this project. Let's quickly launch Bamboo Studio. We can start by create new project. If we hit plus, our keychain is right at the top. We can simply double click to bring it in. I need to adjust the AMS colors, so I'm going to bounce out to the device menu. I need to edit this one and make it generic PLA. It is where my blue is. And let's pick that blue color and confirm. And then this one is generic PLA as well. And it is my black color set. Confirm. Back to our prepare page. Let's update the AMS by hitting resync. Let's go into object mode so we can get the colors correct. 
the blue is labeled correctly, the white is labeled correctly, I need to swap this one to be the black. Bingo, our design is set up. Do note it says I've got an issue with a non-manifold edge. I'm going to simply hit repair. I'm also going to quickly switch this to the P1S with my .4 nozzle. I'm going to discard any modifications I had made. And the last thing is I want to make this smaller. So if we click on scale, you can see that right now it is about 10 centimeters by 8 centimeters by 3. With uniform selected, I'm going to cut this down to 70 millimeters, which is more in my wheelhouse for these projects. That'll make it 2 millimeters thick. I think I'm actually going to even swap that to 60 millimeters, just because I like that for a standard keychain size. The entire project will be about 2 millimeters. If I cared about that, I could undo uniform. If I wanted to go back to where it was for the default, I can take that to 3. I think I'm going to choose 2.5 and press enter. Notice because I had shut off uniform, it only changed Z. And we're ready to slice it. Notice it says slice was OK. And let's hit print. And after about 30 minutes, we will have an awesome project. I'm going to double check my colors. We have the white, the blue, and the black loaded correctly. So let's click send. After a moment, it swaps to the device menu. We can wait for it to download. And of course, once it completes, we can hit play and monitor the print from wherever we are. And about 30 minutes later, a sweet HL Mod Tech keychain. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, that was unbelievably slick. Believe it or not, though, I do have an upgrade I'm going to show you later using Tinkercad. Of course, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I, of course, want to say thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. I do also want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. This video explains it all, and and if you check down here, there is a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any of the amazing courses at cadclass.org. You can, of course, visit the site by clicking visit now. I do also want to take a moment to remind you about the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. At the very top of the site, you'll also find the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of users, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.